polynomial division is not one of the most loved things in mathematics, but it does have a time and a place, and it actually is a pretty useful skill when you're dealing with things like remainders, quotients, when you're dividing one polynomial by another. This comes in pretty handy. Um, the way we're going to do this is I take my divisor right here, and I stick that to the left of a big, long division bar. I take my dividend, which is the top portion, my polynomial, and I put that under the division bar itself. Okay, you may remember this from fourth grade. You may not. It's been a little while. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry out this division on each term as follows. And sometimes it's just easier to learn things by watching and doing. Uh, first thing I do is I divide 3x cubed by x. Okay, so what is 3x cubed divided by x? That's going to be 3x squared. Okay, and now you multiply 3x squared by that polynomial. So what do you get? You get 3x cubed, that's no surprise, and you get 9x squared. Well, your next step at this point is to subtract what I just wrote in orange from what's directly above it. So let's see what we get. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0. 13x squared minus 9x squared is 4x squared. And now you carry down what's above. So that's going to be 10x and negative 6. Okay, great. Now, divide this by x plus 3. So, in other words, divide it by the x. I'm going to divide 4x squared by x. And what I get is just a regular old 4x. Now we multiply this 4x times that polynomial again and bring it underneath. Let's see what we get. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 3 is 12x. So now we subtract the blue line from the red line. What do we get? Well, 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. 10x minus 12x is negative 2x. And then I carry down my negative 6. And now I have negative 2x minus 6. Well, what do I do? I divide that by x plus 3. Okay, so same as before. Running out of colors, though. So I'm taking negative 2x, dividing it by x. What you get is negative 2. And now you multiply this negative 2, again, times x plus 3. So that gives you negative 2x, and then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Well, if you subtract these out, what you get is 0. And you'll notice you should always get a, a 0 at the very, very left when you do the subtraction. Otherwise, something went wrong. And negative 6 minus negative 6. Well, that's negative 6 plus 6. That's also 0. So this is actually an interesting scenario. This does not always happen. But you can see there's nothing left. This right here is my remainder. Now, sometimes it'll be 5. Sometimes it'll be x. Sometimes it'll be x plus 5. This time, it's just 0. So we would write that right here. That's my remainder. The remainder is 0. And the quotient, let's finish this up. The quotient is this part right up on top. So that's going to be 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. And here's an important part of the problem. Because the remainder is 0, that means x plus 3, the divisor, is a factor of 3x cubed plus 13x squared, etc. If the remainder had been non-zero, and that could be x squared, it could be 3, it could be 74, if it's anything that's not zero, then this will not be a factor. So most of the time, it's not a factor. There's a lot of not factors out there. There's very few factors. To be a factor, you have to have a remainder of zero.